Can he make that advantage count? <laughs> what a first visit to the board for the young man. the blocks from Ryan De Vrida. What's Kim Ibrex got? One got this is ludicrous! <laughs> what a start to the game. 100. You get no better. Can Ibrex follow it up? Wow, four perfect darts for Kim Hybrex. And the crowd have started up the hurricane. <laughs> announcing his arrival here in Dusseldorf. Back in the treble again. Hmm. No into the wrong Ryan treble, Ryan but it does get him down to a finish. Ryan De Vrieda's on one, but it's a massive one. He wants two treble 19s. And we just missed with the first dart. Well, started off with a 180 Ryan De Vrieda, but he's potentially going to be broken in the opening leg of the match. Bullseye he wants. Oh, Kim Hybrex for a 12 darter. Just failing to find the bit in the middle of the board. Ryan DeVrieda though, needs to clear up this 100. Is it two double tops? We want to treble 16 for double 16. 52, if you require 25. And Kim Hybrex is going to get two darts to break DeVrida in the first leg of the match. Double eight he wants. Double four across the board. There it is. Oh, the Pump of the fist and the Belgian takes the lead. Second leg, Kim DeVrida. Game on. A great start by Hybrex. It would be good to see him go all the way in one of these tournaments. After 96. bursting onto the scene 18 months ago, making it into the world's top 16. Picking up three ranking wins in that year. Maybe 2014 hasn't really hasn't really pushed on as much as he would have liked or hoped, I'm sure. Well, he's made a few quarterfinals, a couple of semi-finals, but we know what he's capable of. People have talked about Kim Hybrex for some time now. As a guy who could go on and win major tournaments. He did make the final of the Players' on. Championships, of course. He ended up getting beaten by Phil Taylor. Stuck with him through the early part of the match and then... Taylor just powered away as he's prone to do. 59. Certainly very capable. He has got extra gears he can move through and blast opponents away. When he won the Dutch Darts Masters at the back end of last year, beat Michael Van Gerwen in the semi-finals, then went on to beat Brendan Dolan in the final. The only guy who really troubled him was Wayne Jones, funnily enough, in the early rounds. That went to a decided Certainly. leg. Jones had chances to win it. But after that, he just never looked back. His brother Ronnie was here in Dusseldorf. Not for very long, it has to be said. He was first on on stage two yesterday in the afternoon session. And a very short while later, as Kim Hybrex looks to set this up and does so 160. excellently. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Ronnie Hybrex. 6-0 he was beaten yesterday by Benito van der Pass in double quick time. Kim Ibrex going somewhat better though. Yes, van der Pass, another young Dutchman bursting onto the scene, just like this man, Ryan de Vrieda. And yes, at one point, Kim Hybrex's name was being linked with a possible Premier League wild card. That's not to say that it won't happen in the next few years, but he was certainly in the mix six or nine months ago, that's for sure. 140. Well, I think if he'd gone on a bit of a run further than he did at the World Championships, he, he might well have snuck in there. In the end, Ian White did for him. Went 3 0 down in that match, Hybrex, and came back to 3 all before losing the deciding set. Had he gone on, that top half of the draw, that's the one where Peter Wright eventually emerged from to take on Michael Van Gogh in the final. 100. Had he gone on, he might have found himself in the Premier League, but as it is, he's just got to concentrate. 
We're getting back to winning ways. 164 for Kim Hybrex. He finds a treble 19. He wants another one. And he gets it. Is he going for the ball? I don't think he is, is he? He was, you know. He was. Had no need to do it. Well, if you got the chance for the big spectacular out shot. Why not go for it? As it is, he wants nine for double eight. For a three nil lead. And yes, already looking a little bit ominous for the young Dutchman, Ryan De Vrede. That was another break of throw. Yeah, Kim Hybrex in a hurry. 85. Kevin Painter awaits the winner of this one. That game will be tonight as we've got the round of 16, the third round. All 16. Got to be contested tonight. That will leave us with eight players that go into the quarterfinals, semi-finals and final played over one session tomorrow afternoon. Yes, Kevin Payne playing very well so far this weekend. He, he will be a formidable opponent, whoever he comes up against uh, the way he's started his European Darts Open campaign this weekend. Yeah, 100 average and a 99 average. If he keeps that over the weekend, he's got a very good chance of making it six different winners in six events of the European Tour so far this year. 99. 59. So high breaks favourite for this leg as well. 45. Oh, Kim Hybrex. Not messing about. Oh, Kim Hybrex. 123 <laughs> check out on double eight. He's got some applause from Dimitri Vandenberg in the <laughs> top stand here. None of the Belgians. 123, treble 19, bullseye double eight. Superb stuff. The hurricane is in a hurry. One hundred and eighty. With a 180, is second of the match. 96. Fortunate bounce out. That would have been a second trouble 19, I think, there for high breaks. 100. So the way things are going, it won't be too long before Peter Wright and Michael Smith take to the stage. That's their next second round match. 100. Ryan, you in 128. Oh, to Breeder. Oh, look at this. This wouldn't be too bad either. 128. Oh, oh John misses is inside. Well, arguably he did the hard bit, the two treble 18s. But he will be back for double five. And all Kim can do is put a bit of pressure on it. And uh, not too much pressure on this shot, but this is awkward, as you can see. One for double two to stop the rock and get a leg on the board. Ryan De Breeder. One hundred. Hybrex still very much in charge of this one. His lips tightening over his teeth of these throws, occasionally baring his teeth like an angry Belgian chipmunk. <laughs> Got all sorts of uh, fancy dress outfits in the crowd again today. Not sure I've seen a chipmunk as yet, though. Not as yet. It's only a matter of time. I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time before we see a chipmunk in the European Tour crowd. 
And Ryan DeVry, a great first start, just seems to sort of pull that second one down. Hybrex just going about his business in this leg. If DeVrida could find a 140 or even better a 180, 180 leaves him tops. Look at this Ryan DeVrida. A 140. Well, that should give him a shot for one of the breaks of throw he needs because Hybrex isn't going to take the 141 out. And maybe this is a way back into the match for the 21-year-old Dutchman. A man who hadn't won a game on the European Tour in three attempts until this weekend when he won his opening round match against Gary Stone. He's going to get a dart at double top here, just moving across the hockey to get out of the way of the first two darts. And he seemed to rush it a bit. Is Hybrex going to make him pay? Two at double eight. He does make him pay, oh, Kim Ibrex. Snuffing that little resurgence out. The Blue Ryan to Roper. Game on. Yeah, just one more leg now needed for high breaks. And all Ryan DeVrida can do is just hope and pray that he has time to claw his way back into this game, but a huge mountain to climb, you feel, especially with the way. Oh, yeah, second 180 for Kim Hybrex. Oh my word, Kim Hybrex. Look at this! Back to oh, Kim Hybrex is on the nine yard. What a way to finish the game this would be from Kim Hybrex. 180. 180. He needs 141. It's not going to happen. We saw AD Lewis go seven darts into a perfect nine against Benito van der Pass. Hybrex, a little smile to himself. <laughs> the jeers from the crowd. <laughs> so a possible 11 darter to wrap it up in convincing style. And book a place in round three against Kevin Painter for Kim Hybrex of Belgium. And just the one dart. Oh, well, I thought he was going to do 16 for tops in the end. He's gone treble for double four. That's one match dart gone, but Ryan DeVrida needs a massive one here to prevent Kim Hybrex getting any more in this leg. And it's not going to happen. So Kim Hybrex will be back looking at double two for the match and a 6-1 win. Regulation stuff from the Hurricane if he can close this one out so double two is that awkward can he sneak it in well that's the danger double one madhouse no problem though a convincing win for Kim Hybrick averaging around about 100 in the end seeing off the young Dutch qualifier Brian De Breeder. so it's Kim Hybrick who will take on Kevin Painter in the third